Ditch the plane ticket because today we're taking flight in our own backyard, the D10 drone. This affordable little drone comes with just about everything you need to take flight. It comes with a high quality carrying case that fits everything nicely. This not only makes your drone portable, but it keeps your drone safe. Drone bags can be pricey, so I thought it was great that it came with this. Inside the carrying case, you have your drone, your controller, a manual, a spare battery, spare wings and bumper guards, and a USB charging cable. This drone is compact and has multiple wings, allowing it to be quickly set up. The controller requires three AA batteries, and the phone mount feels like cheaper plastic. But other than that, I love this controller. It's nicely laid out, and even though the phone mount feels cheaper, I was surprised it even had one. The rest of the controller seems like it was built to last. I like the button layout, and it feels good in your hands. Setup is simple. Unfold your wings, power on the drone, power on your controller, and push and hold the joysticks in opposite directions. The light on your drone will switch from flashing to solid, and then it's connected. You can fly the drone just like this, or you can connect your phone to the Deer C app. To do this, connect your phone to the drone's Wi-Fi, and the feed will pop up, allowing you to record clips and take photos. similar interface to my DJI drone, and it didn't feel foreign at all. I knew what to do without reading the manual. I had good control over it, and it went where I wanted it to go. The main difference in flying this and my DJI drone is the D10 is 5.8 ounces, but my DJI is almost 4.5 pounds. So when the wind blows, you're definitely going to feel it on the D10. We flew this around for a while, and we've been having so much fun with it. It's really fast, and it can even do flips. I tested the video, and well, it records video, but unlike the DJI cameras, the D10 has no gimbal for stabilization. You can't pan and angle your camera. You just kind of get what you get. This is nice if you want to see what's above you, but not really the best for quality. However, the selling point to me is not the camera, it's the drone and the controller. If you're someone even remotely interested in professional aerial photography, you have to be prepared to drop thousands of dollars. This is cool. <laughs> you don't get a drone like this to produce spectacular aerial footage. You get this as a tool to learn how to fly. This drone is much more affordable and gives you a great flying experience. You can practice and learn the controls and not worry as much about wrecking. It's so light that it can even take a drop or a collision and not do much. We've wrecked this little guy about six times now, and even the blades are fine. And we weren't even using the bumper guards. Oh, watch out, watch out. Pull back, pull back, pull back. At least you didn't hit the wall. <laughs> I'm truly surprised at how durable this is. If my DJI took one of these falls, something would be broke for sure. easier in the air, you have to be a lot more careful. The D10 is a perfect entry-level drone for those interested in getting into aerial photography or the parent with kids who want to drone. It can handle a beating and it's fun to fly. It has backup parts and it folds away nicely to take up little space. It even advertises that it has smart flying modes like gravity control, gesture control, and tap fly. But I felt like it was a bit too windy to take my hands off the controls, so I didn't test these. But those could be fun to use. For the price, I couldn't be happier with this drone. I had a lot of fun flying it, and perhaps you will too. Till 
next time, I'm gonna go do some more backflips in the field. See ya.